Hello, oh, welcome to my channel and explaining you today brachial plexus. Brachial plexus, to understand, I'm doing a very simple method to explain a brachial plexus. Brachial is actually the part, one of the parts of the human body. We have two more plexus, the cervical plexus, brachial plexus and the lumbar plexus. What is a plexus? It's a collection of nerves. It's a collection of nerves. I made it very simple for you, this brachial plexus. Hope you like it. Uh, I'll start from the basics. This is the brain, okay? A rough diagram of the brain. You've got your spinal cord here, 45 centimeters long. Obviously, it's only 45 centimeters here. Uh, the brain's 12 pairs of cranial nerves come out of it. Please do remember, you've got 12 pairs of cranial nerves coming out of it. From the spinal cord, we have 31 pairs of spinal nerves. It's eight cervical, 12 thoracic, five lumbar, five sacral, one coccyx. It's eight plus 12, it's 20, 20 plus five is 25, 25 plus five is 30, and 30 plus one is 31. You've got 31 pairs. Do remember, we have these cranial nerves named, starting from your olfactory, and all the nerves are named uh, 12 pairs, but this particular 31 pairs are given numbers. This number, now what is brachial plexus? Brachial plexus is the network of nerves from C5 to T1. From C5 to T1, I repeat here, please uh, do uh, understand. From C5 to T1, obviously there are more plexus which are coming up in future videos. C5 to T1, there's a network that is called as brachial plexus. This is the initial understanding. I'm making a very simple method to explain you uh, brachial plexus in student's language. The one language you understand. Diagrams given in the textbook are very tough, very, very silly method to make you understand. A just an honest attempt. What do we have here? We have C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. These are, let us see, these both C5 and C6 are in a relationship. Okay, the boyfriend and girlfriend, they both are in a relationship. Uh, C7, you know, the 7, it's me. I'm single. Okay, hard to believe? Believe it. C8 and T1 are in a relationship, okay? These both are together, C5, C6 together. They travel together, obviously. They go to movies together, they go to parks together, they go every place together, okay? So they travel completely like this. And uh, I, I'm mean, sorry, C7 travels single, completely travel, he's single. And C8 and T1, obviously, the two travel together. Obviously, they are together. What happens? They, these both, C5 and C6, they feel bad for me, okay? They just say, come on, can we help you? They just try to help me and I would say thanks to them. Thank you very much, sir. So, C5 and C6, speaking anatomically, give a branch to the C7 here. In return, C7 returns a batch, uh, branch to C5 and C6. Understood till now? Same thing happens in the down. C8 and T1, these both together will try to say thanks to me. I will not reply them. Please, I will not at all reply to them at any cost. So, in, again repeating, C5, C6, together travel, give a branch to me, I return a branch to them. That is C7. C8 and T1, give a branch to C7 and gets nothing in return. Obviously, then later on what happens, C7, the single one, it goes on to give two branches, axillary nerve as well as radial nerve. From that, C7's direct branches. C5 and C6, they go completely straight forwards and then they give later on this actually c5 and c6 and c8 and t1 they give totally three branches as musculocutaneous median nerve as well as the ulnar nerve these three they together they give this nerves and i'll explain to you more branches coming up from it so now the basic thing for you to understand is uh, who are this who are this and who are this i have called them the textbook has called them obviously these are the roots Okay, the one, the C5, C6, all these are the root stuffs. And what do a tree has? A tree has a root, a trunk, and the branches, you know, division and they, later on. So same thing, these two, you know, the upper, middle, and the lower are the trunks. The second part of it, these are called as trunks. Please do remember, the trunks are named upper, middle, and lower. And obviously, you can see the division mathematical mark here. And this is obviously the divisions. So we have the divisions here. And then we have chords. Please remember, chords are named again lateral chord, posterior chord, medial chord. Pause the video, rewind the video, and please go back and uh, understand this. And after chords, immediately what do we have? Branches. Okay, the branches, which I'll be explaining you in the next uh, part of it. 
do remember why this uh, confusing lateral posterior and medial is named because of the axillary according to their uh, position in the of the axillary artery these cords are named so this is how we have here lateral posterior and medial okay this is the first packet of it I have to explain you uh, all the uh, things uh, roots trunks divisions cords and branches how do you remember this is the same way which I have told you in the, is just to remember a tree has some what a tree a trunk a divisions and cords obviously tree doesn't have I'm just trying to add up and obviously the branches here hopefully you understood my story the branches the roots give off two nerves number one the dorsal scapular nerve as well as a long thoracic nerve this particular branch which just arises textbook have given more beautiful diagram refer textbooks please and the trunks give a branch called nerve to subclavius uh, this particular branch which is given here in it from the trunk then going to the divisions we have the suprascapular nerve here which arises from this particular part the lateral cord as I explained to you already gives off two branches the lateral pectoral nerve and the musculocutaneous nerve from the uh, lateral cord then we have the posterior cord giving off many branches the first two which already I told you axillary as well as radial nerve and um, the lower suprascapular nerve the, the thoracodorsal nerve the upper scap uh, suprascapular nerve from the posterior cord from the um, middle cord we have the medial pectoral nerve arising from median pectoral nerve that is from the uh, region that side and uh, medial cutaneous nerve of forearm as well as arm do this is very easy to remember a nerve nerve as well as median nerve so these are the nerves which are uh, given here obviously you need to by heart everything nothing can be left in this brachial plexus is very important in gets injured in almost sports injuries leading to brachial uh, plex injury it supplies nerves to the uh, nerve supply to the entire upper compartment so the applied aspect of it requires a special separate video with where lots of applied aspects do come for this uh, I have made a simple video so that the student just remember for the exam point of view and please do refer textbooks standard textbooks whichever your teachers have told you and draw the notes from the textbooks and uh, draw the sorry the draw the diagrams from the textbooks and maintain notes this is just for understanding just my method Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.